that are worth visiting when you are. Top of this uh, broken chair, what you can do is. Uno! You can really see the difference. Johnson is a. Don't hesitate to ask for it at the reception desk. Hello everyone, back to my YouTube channel. You know, Geneva is an international city in Switzerland. It is the headquarter of many international organizations such as the World Health Organization, the United Nations, the uh, International Air Transport Association, and Red Cross and so on. So, what to see when you are in Geneva for a short period, let's say one or two nights? So, today's video is about showing you some places that are worth visiting when you are in Geneva for holidays or when you reside in this city. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make it easy for you, let me take the train station as the starting point to this current kind of city. First place to visit is the provincial. So, now you guys can see that in front of me is the a uh, train station, it's called um, Gare Cornavant. The name of the, uh, the station is uh, Cornavant. So from here you can take the, uh, the tram to go to Nation, where you will see the uh, broken chair. Just exactly, uh, the tram number 15 goes to Nation. That's the tram number 15, guys. So, I put my helmet. It's very uh, comfortable and it's very uh, good, safe for, for myself in case uh, bad things happen. But anyway, I don't expect anything to happen. And soon I'm approaching the nation, guys. So, stay tuned. So, guys, in front of me, yes, in front of you, can you see, as you can see in this video, is the nation. The final stop for your tram. If you want to visit the nation, the broken chair, where the broken chair is located. Yo guys, I'm now in front of the broken chair in front of the United Nations office in Geneva. The broken chair is in fact art of peace. With this famous broken foot, you know, the broken chair artwork has become an unmissable monument. It was at the request of the NGO Handicap International that uh, the famous sculptor Daniel Berset created this uh, broken chair. And it's made of 5.5 tons of wood and 12 meters high so can you imagine uh, the hard work of this artist wow don't ask me where the artist got the, the wood either it's a uh, teak wood or mahogany wood or whatever it's called wood or pine wood but you can also find out the information if you are curious about uh, the original or the the source of the um, the material and of course this impressive work has dominated the place de nation since 1997 so this powerful symbol is in fact is, is a tribute to the victims of anti-personal minds and a message of peace to heads of state of the whole world so yeah you need to stop here whenever you are in geneva guys and of course here in front of the uh, nation's building as you can see here everyone is taking picture to uh, you know to capture the memorable uh, symbol, the monument. And of course, guys, this broken chair has become tourist attraction. And uh, as you can see here, there are so many tourists visiting uh, this uh, broken chair in front of the uh, office or building of the United Nations.
you have visited this broken chair, what you can do is take the tram again to the city center or to uh, the train, the train station. I mean, uh, after that, you can take a bus or uh, a walk to the uh, jet do or take the tram to go to the central or to the city center where you can see the old town uh, you can visit i mean you can visit the old city of uh, old town of the city of geneva guys probably can see the uh, roof of the cathedral from this distance and later I'm going to show you uh, the city how the city looks like from the top of the cathedral so stay tuned on this channel And so I now arrive in front of the Cathedral Saint Pierre Genève, and this is a world place visiting, guys. If you are in Geneva, I'm going to show you uh, inside and also the tower. So let's see the city from the tower. All right, follow me. So to go to the tower, you have to uh, get into the uh, cathedral and uh, you have to pay a certain uh, Swiss franc. I'm not sure uh, how much it costs, but uh, I'll show you later once we are inside. So this is the, uh, the cathedral, guys. I don't know if it, you can really see, but yeah, not much light. As you can see here, I cannot speak so loudly. So I'm on my way to the gas here and I'm going to practice my French <laughs> but I guess the guy speaks English so as you guys are in Geneva or visiting in G Geneva city then you can come to this cathedral Saint Pierre Genève and then you ask the uh, uh, travel guide whether it's uh, worth going to the uh, tower of this cathedral Before going up, before going to the cashier, I'm going to show you a bit how the church, or not the church actually, how this cathedral looks like. Today is uh, very sunny. I'm so lucky that the sun is coming up so brightly. Alors, je sais pas. Ah, ici. Visit the tour, visit of the tower. I'm sure the guy speaks English and uh, oh yeah, it will be 153 steps, uh, staircase with, okay, that's fine. So here it costs about seven. I'm still a teenager, so I would say I'm in the group of adult, right, yes, seven. Hello, bonjour. Pour aller à la tour. All right. So this is the way to go up. Visit uh, the tour. Right. And this works. And we go up. <gasps> yes. So 150 steps, guys, go up. To save the battery, I need to switch this off so that I can show you the 
panoramic view from this uh, cathedral tower. So you have to be also really fit to climb up for 153 steps. Wow. So from this panoramic view, we can always see the city, the surrounding city like uh, Jura Mountain, the Mount of Jura, the Mount of Salev there, and also um, French, you know, uh, or France, I mean, yeah. C'est pas panoramique ici. C'est la prochaine tour. Ce... Ah, c'est l'autre côté. C'est l'autre côté. Ah là 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 là. Ok. <coughs> so, I'm on another. I think this is the highest. Yeah. Right. On the top. Yes, I'm on the top of this uh, tower of this uh, Saint Pierre Cathedral here in Geneva. Ah, really, the panoramic view from this tower is magnifique, amazing, guys. See, see up there, there's so much snow still. Although it's anyway, today is still winter. And that one, as I said before, it's a, um, how do you call this? Salev Mountain. But beware of you uh, visitors that this cathedral is closed at 5.30 in the afternoon, right? Looking back again. Yeah, now I'm uh, going up. Uh, uh, to the uh, tower you know you can go down to the uh, city of Geneva where you can find like uh, some uh, cafes so this is how the old city looks guys you know and this way we go down I'm going down and showing you the uh, the cafes. I'm just in front of the cafes guys so Old Town Cafe as you can probably see the name there and uh, yeah the bikes are parked very um, neatly nicely so well regulated. I think it's about 200 or 150 or 200 meters from this uh, cafe you see there's a uh, uh, museum art and history and uh, uh, of course the uh, how do you call it archaeology where you can uh, see a uh, loss of collection and the history of the uh, city of Geneva it's another great thing to discover when you are in Geneva after visiting the cathedral is to come down and if you want to have a break then you can come to this uh, bar it's very uh, crowded as you saw it reminds me of a friend of mine from Basel who uh, came to Geneva last time and we had our breakfast here in this cafe. There where you should stop, it's called Zhongshan. From Zhongshan, um, tram stop, then you can uh, walk down here, go there and then uh, towards uh, the hill this is press uh, uh, Bois de Bati and from there from Bois de Bati you go 
go there and then you will reach this uh, I mean that uh, bridge the one on the behind of the uh, the pond how do you call it the, the small bridge lower there you can see the Johnson later I mean two rivers meet together and you will see the uh, different color of the water I'm now on the way to the uh, Bois de Bati it's, uh, it's a park and uh, there's also a small zoo that people can go there I'm going voila so in fact it's a park it's Bois de la Bati as you guys can see here it's a big park small zoo inside and from this park and you can see this one this is the bridge that I wanted to show you so a little bit story about this uh, Bois de la Bati it's given by the uh, uh, I mean has been given to the city of Geneva by uh, the 1st of September 1896 by uh, William Turettini in 1910 oh sorry 1810 and 1876 it's uh, he's the guy he's uh, a general procurement who uh, devoted his um, uh, hardcore career to the uh, city of Geneva so as I'm going with my bike I uh, don't uh, follow the uh, b bike track but uh, this is a kind of a shortcut for uh, randonner or for, for people who stroll so if you guys are in Geneva for short period for like short v visit like one day or two days then you can discover uh, many places like Bois Bati. now I'm arriving on the, on the park oh wow finally there's a cafe there's a cafe there wow I think I remember I won I went there once I thought twice maybe more than uh, twice it was nice and let me show you here if you're lucky you can see the jet though from here but apparently uh, the jet oh, ah yeah the jet is on yeah there you can see not sure you can see from this distance but let me zoom it so that yes you see there yeah yeah haha <laughs> yeah this is Jeddo wow so I'm going to show you also Jeddo and uh, Lac de Genève later so inside this park you can see the small uh, zoo it's quite nice to stroll around but uh, this is not uh, where I'm going to I'm going to show you the uh, two rivers I mean meet together and you will be amazed to find out the uh, two colors of the water that don't blend together so they remain separated so it's quite beautiful so this is the way to go to the bridge for a uh, randonner or how to go uh, stroller for those who would like to walk around. So I think uh, you guys can hear the noise of the animals, right? It's like a goose. That's a small um, zoo that I was telling you about. See this big good. Oh. Another type of uh, good uh, sheep. <laughs> This cafe is a cool place to uh, to chill, to have a coffee, tea, soft drink. <sighs> so it's not it's not my uh, my goal to to stay over. Your relationships are never meant to last. This is a way to go to the uh, um, how do you call it the bridge. 
So I have to go down and then show you around. Actually, this track is quite, uh, you know, perfect for uh, joggers, for those who want to uh, elevate their physical condition. They can uh, use this track going up and down the hill. That's quite nice exercise. Yes, soon I'm arriving on the bridge that I was telling you guys. So this is it guys. I'm now on the bridge. I was telling you about two rivers meet together. Mm -hmm. And the water, it doesn't uh, mix each other, so it's quite nice. Ah. One is like, I would say, it's like uh, cappuccino, the color of cappuccino, and the other one is crystal clear water. So you can really see the difference. Johnson is a district, in fact, uh, in the city of Geneva. And this area used to be an industrial area and now it's gone, no more industry here. Ah, oh, it's so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's so sunny, 14 degrees Celsius anyway today. And I want to tell you something about the, this area in Zhongshan. Um, I mean, in summer, uh, there are so many people uh, hanging out, uh, taking sun bath here. I mean, there uh, along the, uh, the river bank, this is called uh, how do you call it? Rhone. Uh, so, on the side of the Rhone, there are so many people um, chilling out, having barbecue, or just uh, dive into this uh, uh, Rhone and then, yeah, enjoy their time. So, it's really, really beautiful during summertime. It's so nice, guys. Wow. Ah. The weather is super, super good. Super beautiful with the sun. But still nothing opposed me and freeze my tomorrow like you. With you, I see the morning always go. In Geneva, there are so many, many, many artists. Ah, oh. <laughs> Nice. Uh, this week is holiday for uh, the school, so kids are uh, having uh, their good time. It's an Easter holiday. So this area is called uh, Changeon area in the city of Geneva really it's quite calm huh? during Easter break Easter holiday there are many people are out of town I suppose and therefore the city is not very crowded This is it, guys. This is the Rhone. Look at the water, it's super crystal clear. Oh my God. Wow. And you maybe see some guys are taking sun bath. It's really nice. It's a new bar, I guess. I haven't seen that before. So nice bar to chill out. This is the place where uh, local or, or, or anyone who visit Geneva or who stays in Geneva they chill out along this uh, river and to have a barbecue or uh, taking sun bath during summer so it's quite really nice
I want to show you the clarity of the water. It's really super, super clear. And look at this. Wow. You see? Oh. My God. Woo! <laughs> so good to bike around during the Easter break. Wow. So good. I really enjoy this uh, summer, uh, not summer, the sun. Oh my god. So good. Super nice. Ah, it's, oh no, it's closed. Ah oh, la la, it's closed, guys, so I cannot show you the, the end of the river. Ah, uh, yeah. Too bad. So during summer, this bar is open. And oh yeah. You see? Again, I really love seeing this, uh, you know? The clarity of this water is super clear, crystal clear. Oh, wow. Wow, my God. It's so nice. And this deck, a wooden deck, too many people during summer. You can't find a spot to, to chill out here. But then the, along this uh, road, you can have uh, your own place. And so this is the road. And the other side is the uh, Arv. I'm going to show you. So just, uh, you know, cross the, this street and then uh, we will uh, reach the, uh, the Arv. The name of the river. Somehow, very nice gravity here. Yeah. Ah, it's so cool. They really appreciate the uh, artist, like uh, street artist. <laughs> oh wow, this is nice. Wow. Ah, uh, that one. Another one is so cool. It's cool. Welcome to Switzerland. So this is called Arf, just on the, on the other side of the Rhone. And the color of the water is like this. It's not dirty, it's just the color of the soil from the mountain. So uh, you can see the difference. People do, do you, I think, kayaking here? Yeah, it's a kayaking track. Uh, let me show you uh, closer. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see they train here. All right, guys. Okay, now you know the Rhone, the junction, the Arf, and uh, the surrounding of the junction. Where I told you that there's so many people, there are so many people around here during summer. And yes, <laughs> stay tuned. I'm going to show you around the other side of Geneva. Okay. Okay. So soon you are going to see how crowded the oh city is. No problem. Fuck off. Hello. I'm going to show you. Wow, so many people. Oh my God. <laughs> super, 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 super. So many people. So now you know. During daytime, Geneva City is super crowded, right? Let's go. Oh right guys, I'm on the bridge again, uh, I'm just above the, uh, the Rhone and there as you can see the, uh, how do you call it, the jet though, uh, Bouchere, Mont Blanc, ah. luxury watch is very nice to have, but unfortunately I don't have any.
This is the spot for tourists. It's very nice to see the clock flower. I also want to see myself in front of this clock flower. <laughs> right. Wind of the open sky. One of the uh, fine spots uh, in Geneva where tourists uh, take picture. So now it's this jardin. This garden is called uh, English garden, or in French it's just jardin anglais. Another green for me. Yeah. So guys, now I'm at Jeddo. Jeddo is the symbol of or the icon of the city of Geneva, and uh, it's quite easy to, you know, to come here from the train station. Uh, you can either, you know, take a bus or you can just walk. It's about like um, maybe 15 minutes walk or 10 minutes or even less than 10 minutes by bus. And the height is about 140 meters. The jetto. And it's super powerful. Huh? Your relationships are never meant to last. And that's the Cadillac Saint Pierre. Just there. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I know times are tough, but I've had enough. I'm moving on. Beautiful. And again, the water is super, super clear. Crystal clear, guys. But it's very cold. I guess it's about 5 degrees Celsius, you know, the temperature of the water. So no wonder no one swims, you know. But actually, it's a um, it's a restricted area to swim in this uh, compound. So this is it, guys. This is the jet of Geneva, and people chill out here easily. Uno, pardon, excusez-moi. <laughs> they are playing Uno, so I try to. So good. Wow. It's super super nice guys. Oh, when I open my sunglasses, oh my god, super sunny. Oh, I can open my... It's too sunny. Ah, it's better like this. Definitely, there are still many other interesting places that you can visit like museums, parks, botanical gardens and you can put this into your list to visit and get the city map from the tourist office so that uh, it makes you know, your territory more convenient and uh, did you know that tourists who are staying at one of the hotels in Geneva are entitled to get a free ticket for public transportation so that you can use bus, tram and also boat to cross the lake. If you don't know, then now you know. So don't hesitate to ask for it at the reception desk where you stay. Right? Okay, I hope you like this video and if so, don't hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe and activate the bell icon so that you will get the notification once a new video is uploaded. Comments are highly appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching this video and supporting my YouTube channel. Till here, I'm Didi Lejavan. See you again next time. Ciao, ciao.